Oh, these are emojis. Wow, I'm old. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're gonna be unboxing things. It's a huge surprise there. But it is a box that I am definitely excited for. It is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of does this come monthly? All the boxes are now just jumbled around in my brain. Who knows what is what? But yes, I do believe that this is the monthly subscription. So as of right now, the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is actually like an upgrade to like the current existing subscription. Why can't I remember anything? An extra $15, which will bring the total cost of this box up to $25. Now this box is supposed to have like all full size items in it. That's what makes it Glam Plus <laughs> is the full size items. And it's supposed to be like well over $100 value. So yeah, very excited to dive on into here and see what we got for this month. I am also going to be trying everything on my face. That's why it is all naked mole rat looking. All right, time to slice on into this. Ooh. Right here on top, we have a little pamphlet that'll tell us all about the things inside of the box and some full-size prices. Oh, Paris Hilton? What? <laughs> okay, that's something I was entirely not expecting on seeing. We have something from Paris Hilton. I'm getting like major nostalgia flashbacks because when I was younger, we had like Paris and Nicole, the simple life, but uh, I haven't heard about her in a while. So I guess she has her own like skincare brand makeup line now. This is the Pro DNA Advanced Skincare System a dual action cleansing gel. Okay, that's a very nice looking bottle. Part of me really wishes it was like hot pink and said that's hot across the front, but you know, probably want to rebrand a little bit. So that is what the bottle looks like, black and rose gold. You do get four fluid ounces in here. It says you're supposed to use this twice a day and basically it just works as a regular cleanser. All right, it says formulated with ingredients like caviar lime. I don't know what that is. That deliver vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and antioxidants to the skin. The box on this also feels like amazing. It's so soft. It smells pretty nice. I have so many face cleansers that part of me wants to like pass this along to somebody else, but also part of me wants to keep it just because it's Paris Hilton. I don't know why. I wasn't even like a huge Paris Hilton fan, but it's just something about it. The 2000s are just crashing back into my brain. All right, next up in here, we have this little palette, which looks really cute. This is from Lovecraft Beauty. This is a blush palette. Oh, okay. I'm not 100% sure if I've ever used anything from Lovecraft Beauty. It reminds me of like witches or something. All right, so on the back here, we have the three different shades with the names on them. And the names are Athena, Dauphine and Oscalia. On the inside here, it has a little mirror and then we have the three pans. These are actually a really nice size. So we have kind of more of like a blushy pink in the center. This one's a bit more on the orange side and then we have a lighter pink down here. I think I really like this shade and that's probably what I'll try out today. They are pretty soft to the touch. They don't seem too crazy pigmented and they swatch pretty softly as well. You don't really need too much pigment when it comes to a blush because you know, unless you are like me and you like to look like you're from the 1980s. You want to like a soft light color on your cheek. Oh, do I have one of these? So the next thing in here is the highbrow pencil from Benefit, but Benefit actually sent me like a little PR kit. And I have one of those in there as well, so I'll probably pass along one of these. I don't know if there's differentiations in color or anything. Oh, okay, just entirely not what I was expecting it to be. I thought this was like an actual eyebrow product, like you mush it into your brows, but instead this is the high brow, and this is actually meant to like go underneath your brow to like highlight your under eye. Brow. <laughs> not your like under eye, but like right underneath your brow. Ooh, this I'm very, very excited about. Okay, so next up here we have an It Cosmetics brush, and this is the Heavenly Skin Skin Soothing Complexion Brush. What? It says groundbreaking anti aging skin care infused brush. Uh, yeah, that's something definitely different than what I'm used to. I don't understand, to be fully honest, but I am excited nonetheless. So let's go ahead and gnaw on into here, I guess. Oh, that's really pretty. It's so white and it will not stay that way. All right, so here is the brush. It is super, super pretty, very nicely weighted. These bristles are like so soft and packed in there. I am very, very excited about this. It says that you can use it to buff in skincare or your makeup. 
or you could just rub it on your face like I'm doing. Um, the anti-aging skin benefit part of it, I really do not understand, but um, it's a cool concept. So basically on the back here, it says revolutionary It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Brush Hair is infused with anti-aging collagen, silk, niacin, and antioxidants. So to me, it doesn't really seem like you get that many benefits because you just like buff on your makeup and then you wash out your brush and then that's it. But oh, this is so cool looking. Okay, so next up here, we have a very, very cool looking palette. This is the Moods palette by Laura Sanchez. I absolutely love the front of this. Man, I have so much packaging from other palettes and makeup things that like I just can't get rid of and I think this is gonna have to just add to the pile. Oh, how cute! Okay, so the outside of the palette itself too is super super cool We have like a little fortune-telling crystal ball here and then on the back we have another cool looking girl <gasps> Oh, I just stuck my fingernail in it. Oh, no, it's broken I was so excited and things seem to be going downhill But still I want to show you guys this when you open up the entire thing you can see like the full girl That's so cool. All right Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the actual palette Which I partially ruined and it partially came broken. Okay, so I'm gonna try to be very cautious with this I shouldn't say that I'm gonna end up jinxing myself So here we have the inside of the palette Here is where my fingernail dug into this green shade and here is where this little white shade came broken That is unfortunate, but at least it didn't spill out everywhere. I might be able to pack that back in there a bit. The shades in here are very interesting. It's not exactly what I would call like a cohesive palette because we just have random assortment of colors, but at least it's kind of fun. I don't see any actual shade names. They just have like little pictures on the back here. I guess you can just like make your own assumptions of what the shade names are. So there's like a lady in a bathing suit. The yellow one is like a fire thing. Then we have a little martini down here. Then there's a girl like sassily flipping her hair, which is this one here. Oh, these are emojis. Wow, I'm old. Okay, so the little pictures on the back here are apparently emojis. I just use like the little sparkly heart one and then like the smiley face and that's about as far as I go. And then at the bottom, these two actually do have names. So this one is Mamacita. And then the other one is Diosa. Diosa? I'm not 100% sure. D-I-O-S-A. Then it also it does come with a little dual-ended brush down here. I'm not ever really a huge fan of little brushes that come in palettes. At least the blendy side over here does seem pretty nice and soft. And then on this side, there is a nice sizable mirror. So this I'm actually pretty excited about. I really do wish it wasn't broken, but that is all right. I do love the outer packaging. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and look through this little pamphlet here and get you all some prices. All right, so the very first thing is the Benefit Cosmetics Highbrow Eyebrow Highlighter. I can't believe I said that without stuttering. Which has a value of $22. Then we have the Laura Sanchez Moods Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette, which is valued at $35. Then we have the Fascinating Skin Technology something brush, which is $48. Next up, we have the Lovecraft Beauty Blush Palette, which is $39. That one, hmm. That one seems just a little bit expensive to me for like how thin and little it is. And then we have the Paris Hilton Pro DNA Dual Action Cleansing Gel, which is $29. Okay, uh, sure. Come here. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do a little bit of ice cream calculations here and add up the total value of this box. Alrighty, and I got a grand total of $173 for all the items inside of this box. And when you think that this is only a $25 box, it's almost like $150 worth of extra stuff you didn't have to pay for, which is really nice. However, as I like to say, if it's not exactly valuable to you and these are things that you're not actually going to get use out of, then the value definitely decreases. But that's totally like a personal preference kind of thing. If you're wanting a box like this to help like build up your makeup inventory, I definitely think it'll work out. You can try a whole bunch of different things that you might not have thought about trying before. I'm now going to move on into a try on portion and try on all these items on my face. So let's go ahead and get on into that. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is just prep my skin with a little bit of this CEO Glow from Sunday Riley. I feel like I could fry an egg on my face. Why is it so hot? And very sadly, I am like to the last drop of my foundation here. Again, a huge thank you to whoever sent me this lovely little spatula thing. It looks a little bit like a stabby arrow. No drop should be wasted. All right, now I'm gonna take this very lovely, pretty white little brush here and completely ruin it by 
by smushing around my makeup. That's all right. I own almost nothing that isn't stained, so it'll fit right in. Oh, that's actually blending out super duper fast. I'm not getting like really, really full coverage because I didn't put too much on and also I put down that oil before I put this on. <laughs> <laughs> scared me. All right, so that blended out like really fast and pretty smooth. I didn't get like super full coverage over here. I didn't really have a lot of product, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mix in some of this Tarte Double Duty Beauty. Oh, don't scratch it, you'll make a line. Oh, I have to. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the Tarte Double Duty Beauty to try to cover up my really red cheeks. I've gone a bit hefty with that. I'm all bronzed up now. I'm gonna try a little bit of this Lovecraft blue, 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 blue beauty blush. I think I'm actually gonna go for the Athleta shade down here on the end. It's a bit lighter. The Oscalia might be a little bit too deep for me. Okie dokie. So I just gave the cheeks a little bit more of like a flushed appearance. I do like the shades in there and I like how it went on nice and like light, but I don't know if it's worth the amount of money they said it was. I mean, I'm sure that's what it like actually retails for. I'm just saying like for the value that I would personally put on it, I think $49, sorry, $39 might be just a little bit much. All right, moving on to the Moods palette. There are some highlights in here. I'm thinking this white one is also a highlighter. Ooh, it is. It's kind of like a duochrome. So this has like a bit of a lavender shift to it. You guys can see that. It's like white and then you move it around a little bit and it's kind of like a pinky lavender. Also, is that green? Ooh, that's also really pretty. And then we have more of just like a traditional highlight. This is probably a little bit more my speed as far as highlights go. All right, so on this side of the face, I'm just gonna go with a little, what is this? SL Miss Glam brush and just apply the this dry. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go in just a tiny, tiny touch heavy handed. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. Okay, I'm just going to blend that back in just a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit too frosty for me, but it definitely shows up. And then I can just Oh my gosh, the brush just fell on the palette and I thought that it was this entire pan of highlight. It was just the brush, we're okay. Ooh, I would say that is definitely a very uh, glitzy highlight. You could probably go a little bit lighter handed with it and not get such of like a tin foil effect on your cheek. All right, so since we're gonna be trying out the highbrow pencil from Benefit, I'm gonna use a couple of different Benefit products in my brows. So this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. Mine is in the shade 4.5. All right, over top of that, I just put a little bit of this Give Me Brow in the shade 4.5 as well. I think I might've accidentally overlined my eyebrows. Don't know if I've ever done that before. I also momentarily gave myself like a third eyebrow up here, but I think I wiped most of it away. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Highbrow Pencil and just highlight my under eyebrow. <laughs> this has like a super, super pale pink shade to it. My eyebrows look almost even more villainous with like that tiny bit of highlight underneath them. It really accentuates like the evil arches. All right, and now it's time for the scariest part, at least for me, which is the eyeshadow. Definitely not 100% sure what direction I'm gonna go with this because the shades are just kind of so disconnected. I haven't done like a green eyeshadow look like maybe ever. So maybe we'll try that out today. I always test them to see if they're dirty, and they always are. So the very first shade that I'm gonna go into is uh, Lady in Bathing Suit, and I'm gonna be using this as my transition shade. All right, now I'm gonna move on to Chocolate Milkshake, I think. And this I'm gonna concentrate like just right in my crease area using the same brush. I probably said should switch brushes, <laughs> but that's okay. And then I think I'm just gonna take this green shade like just all over my lid just to make it crazy easy. All right, so the eyeshadow is on. That really took like just a few minutes to do. It definitely isn't the most like revolutionary eye look ever, but it's on there. Um, I do like the green shade. It has like little flecks of kind of gold in it, which makes it a bit more like dynamic. And it applied with just my finger pretty easily. I didn't lay down like a sticky base or anything. The other shadows blended out okay. I did get a little bit of like patchiness like up here as I was trying to blend out, but I think that might be just me a little bit. Um, I brought up the darker shade a lot higher than I had anticipated. All right, so I'm going to put on a little bit of a winged liner. For a while there, I wasn't wearing winged liner at all, which was very strange for me. Like, I've been waking up pretty much every day and putting on winged eyeliner since... I don't know, when did From Under the Cork Tree come out? Around that time. All right, now for just a little bit of mascara. This is the Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome. It comes in this super pretty shiny container and this is like my favorite mascara ever. This was also sent to me by Lancome and recently somebody just tagged me in a tweet. Apparently Lancome's coming out with like a Monsieur Big eyeshadow palette and I'm very, very excited for it because I just, I love this mascara. All right, you guys, so here is the final look. I like how it turned out. At least I think I do. I actually can't see it just yet, but the eye are like super simple with just a little pop 
pop the color. I like the highlight. It's very, very shiny, but it is very pretty. I think the palette is fun. It's a little bit different than things I actually currently own. The brush was super nice and soft. I still have no idea how it's gonna like fix your skin or put collagen in your skin or whatever they said. I definitely like the brow bone highlight. It adds, like I said, just a little bit more villainous to my eyebrows. And the blush palette I liked as well. This is probably... Eh, I'm a little bit iffy on this one. I think it's okay. I just think it's a little bit overpriced. All right, you guys, that is everything that I have for you all today. Let me know what you guys think about this box down below in the comments. I actually really, really enjoyed this month, um, but I would love to hear all of your all thoughts and opinions. So just thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!